Yeah, last year when Jamie Cox and myself uh, identified the players that we wanted to get long term, we tried to make sure we had a good balance. And the 11 players that are on multi years does provide good balance for us and some really classy players in there. Uh, the two names that Adelaide Strikers fans I hope will be enthused about that didn't play last year through injury is Andrew McDonald. Um, and also John Holland, the left arm orthodox spinner from Victoria, who was on the verge of playing for Australia before his shoulder operation. So all reports, he's recuperating well. So John Holland will give us a left arm spinning option and Andrew McDonald's all round ability and his experience will be invaluable for the strikers uh, this year. Cleaner's in really good form in England at the moment, which is great for Adelaide strikers. Uh, polished performer in short version cricket. Callum Ferguson, an important player out of Adelaide and Nathan Reardon a recruit last year, won us a couple of matches left handed uh, batsman big hitter so we think we've got some good balance there and we'll certainly look to add to that now that the window opens and we have seven players that we can re-sign um, then there's a couple of other players that we've identified on our list from last year that we would like to renegotiate and then realistically I think we'll have three or four new faces come into the uh, Adelaide Strikers list for this season. Yeah it is and I think all teams will be the same you know the, the power play first six overs with the bat and the ball I think with the ball we've got some good bowling options to cover that uh, and with the bat I'd like to perhaps add a little bit more firepower at the top of the order just to give us a bit of a blast away at the top. Maxi Kling is the solid rock if you like to bat around and he can go in 2020 but uh, that was probably an area Tim Ludeman did it last year as a fill-in role and did a good job. But that's one area that I'm certainly looking to bolster in our recruiting over the next few weeks. Yeah, obviously, Johan Boter, our captain, and it's great to have him secured as one of our overseas players. In our second position, Kyron Pollard's got a strong affiliation with the Adelaide Strikers. We'd love to have Big Polly. Uh, the West Indies are playing against New Zealand, and we still haven't got their schedule. Everything is relying on the schedule. If Pollard was available for, for six or seven of the matches, we would go that way. But our, our early indications are that Polly won't be available uh, very much. So whether we sign him as our third overseas, because I don't want to lose Polly, is, is an important fixture for us, but we'll probably have to look elsewhere for our significant second signing. And I think a lot of the sides in the BBL will be in the same boat. We'll use the trade week, uh, which I believe is going to be about a month before the BBL starts, to see how our group is fitness-wise, if we, we've got any holes in that position, and, uh, and obviously form. If there's players horribly out of form, well, then we'd want to look at, uh, at the trade window. So it's going to be a tough period because I'm tipping a lot of players aren't going to want to be traded, but it's a fairly ruthless and brutal game. So at this stage, we're not looking to do a lot of trading, but when November arrives, that, that story may have changed. No doubt, you know, it was a, f a very fine line last year between pleasure and pain, and for the Strikers fans, that, that horrible match against the Brisbane Heat where we lost off the last ball of the game, you know, ultimately that cost us a, f a finals berth. No excuses because we had a couple of poor performances as well, well, we won four last year and lost four, 50-50 record. We need to change that. We've got to win five or six this year and nothing short of playing in the finals will be acceptable. And we think we've got a list capable of playing in the finals. It's all about execution in 2020 cricket and, and players backing themselves. So I think with our 11 re-signed players that we've got a pretty strong list. And if I can add one or two um, players to our depth, uh, I think we'll be well placed this summer for the BBL. Adelaide Oval, there's no better environment, there's no better atmosphere, uh, new seating, new grandstands, state-of-the-art facilities, the best cricket ground in, the, in Australia, if not the world. Adelaide Strikers fans, come and make a noise in the sea of blue and support your team and we'll be doing our best to make sure we play BBL finals this summer.